The Cognac Union has once again uh, backed the ENPO call for boycott of elections and has even, even warned that uh, during an emergency meeting today has even warned that if anyone files nomination in quote-unquote Cognac territory, uh, they will be again quote-unquote expelled from the Cognac soil. So, well, uh, there, there's a task at hand for the election commission for the government, for the civil society, for everyone, because uh, we have 20 seats in the eastern areas and we uh, cannot afford non-participation by such a large number, sizable number of people, must be. Yes, number one, it is a very tricky situation as far as Nagaland is concer concerned. Uh, there is hardly any interest among the uh, common people for the elections because they have been expecting a solution to the protracted Naga issue. They, they have been thinking that this time during Christmas itself they, they, they expected a solution, but that was not to be. And, and during the elections in 2018, the slogan that swept Nagaland was no solution, no election. And, the, and, and this time around, there is no such slogan sweeping Nagaland, but the mood of the people uh, is absolutely, they're not uh, showing much of an interest as far as the elections are concerned. And there is confusion among the people because at this point in time, there is an opposition-less government in, in, in Nagaland comprising the, uh, the main parties, that is the NDPP, BJP, and the NPF. And now, now it is, of course, uh, uh, that there's a lot of confusion among the electorate as to who is, which is the ruling party, which is the opposition party. But now, after, after the BJP and the NDPP are uh, landed in New Delhi to, for, for a seat adjustment, things are becoming slightly clearer. It is now clear that the BJP and NDPP is going to be uh, contesting the elections and the other side of the fence will be the NPF and the Congress. On the whole, on the whole, it, it will be a very interesting uh, situation in Nagaland, and particularly uh, because the ENPO has called for a boycott, and the Konyak Union joining in that boycott call, supporting the ENPO decision to boycott the elections. Twenty seats, mind it, it, it is one third of the seats in the Nagaland 60 member Nagaland Assembly. Therefore, if there is a real boycott, then the elections will be absolutely, to to a great extent, uh, meaningless, uh, if I may use the word, number one.